feel that nowadays these game announcements are not as fun as they used to be p- before. I, I remember every June, I would just wake up waiting for E3. It's like, oh, when is E3 coming? Those three, four days of game announcements, one after another, and you get stuff like Fallout, you get stuff like Assassin's Creed, you got like Elder Scrolls and stuff. And it's just like every company coming up and doing really cringy shit on stage but still fun you got like (laughs) reggie coming up and saying that his body's prepared it was a whole thing (laughs) and the fact that we're moving away from that and every company is doing their own thing throughout the year you know in a way it's good because you get like news throughout the year but at the same time it's just i don't know yeah there's no the charm is gone (laughs) the charm is gone e3 is dead the the whole the whole like Let's say Ronald Reagan is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, it's true. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, re- regarding like E3, I I totally understand you. Like the ones who are keep uh, hyping up correctly games are Nintendo, dude. Nintendo directs. Last years, all of them were hype. Yeah, that's true. They always presented something that, like... Yeah. And they, I like that the, they come as, like, bam, 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 game after game after game after game. And they do it really nice. And if they show up, like, a skit or anything like that, it was good. But uh, I feel that I'm contradicting myself now when I'm saying that. <laughs> no, I totally agree. You know why? Because I, 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 I watch... I, I first watch the direct, you know, alone. But then... I watch there's a channel like new new Nintendo New York reaction when there's a camera in the back and there's people there and you actually see like people yelling like ex- being super excited when like the Smash Bros character were uh, as Banjo Kazooie come up everybody was oh like, my God, jumping yeah. up crazy like yeah. you actually feel more like hyped right exactly uh, another That's... moment like this Cyberpunk Keanu Reeves, bro. Oh my god, yes, exactly. Bro. You cannot get more hype than that. It was like that's what's missing from these announcements. The exactly. hype. Because you just see one man on the screen talking about it and you're like I, exactly. I could just watch the trailers afterwards. I don't need to see this, you know? And, and the dude is like half baked, half like on drugs or like something like that, bored out of out of his mind, be like, here's the game. Yeah. I yeah. need like or- the, the fans be like, Whoa! You know, be like, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Or you have like some corporate guy going, like, we have worked for five years on this game and we're using the capabilities of the consoles. Like, shit, I don't want to come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I need the excitement, I, I need the hype. Right? Yeah. I feel the only show that kind of does this nowadays uh, is Game Awards, right? Oh, yeah, because they still, they still show games and they have the public going on, yeah. and it's great. I love it. And you got unplanned moments like that. <laughs> when, when Elden Ring was <laughs> game of the year. year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, ah, <laughs> I would like to nominate my Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton. <laughs> I was I was online with a friend uh, watching these, uh, watching the awards. And I didn't even notice the kid. And he was like, who's the kid in the back while we were watching? I was like, what kid? And then he shows up. And I swear to God, for like half an hour, we were still laughing about it. It was great. It's stuff like this. Yeah. Apparently, Summer Games Fest will be in a live audience as well. Oh, nice. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I do want to see that. I mean, live audience, I think, makes half of the hype, to be honest. Exactly. Exactly. I remember when the PSP once announced, was announced, right? Okay. When he just comes in. And the dude literally just takes the PSP out of his pocket. It's like, this is the new edition. And everyone just goes nuts for it. Yeah. It's great. Or even further back when uh, Sony announced their console, right? When they, when they announced the PlayStation 1 for the first time. Yeah. And the guy just comes in, takes the mic, and announces the price. And he leaves. And the <laughs> crowd goes nuts. <laughs> Absolute Chad move. Yeah. Big Chad energy. <laughs> or or uh, the Nintendo Twilight Princess... Uh, reveal with Miyamoto oh my- with the sword yes. and the shield. Yes, Bruh. exactly. It was great. Bruh. Or it's just so so good. Uh, what else? What else? Sheesh. Um. Oh my god, I had I had a a moment like this one, uh, but I, I I forgot about it. 
sorry. When, <laughs> I have one with Metal Gear at one point. I don't remember if it was uh, E3 or if it was uh, just like a Comic Con or something. But like Kojima comes up on stage dressed in full camel gear. Uh, and you got Stan Lee coming in as well, and they're just announcing Metal Gear Solid Three. Like I don't know where Stan Lee comes up as well. It's great. You just I live for these moments, man. Yeah, it's it's what made the gaming community and the gaming space fun to be a part of. But it, it just turns corporate, not corporate, but it just turns you know stale. Yeah, when it's, things it's, like this it's happen, just boring. A white wall cubicle type situation. Yeah, corporate, like you say. Yeah, that's a hundred. 